Hello, this is Maker J101 coming to you with another garden update video. Today is June 28th, and look, my first tomatoes. So I'm pretty happy about this. This is the um, uh, Sweet 100 tomato plant. So, and so they're ripe. This will be the first tomato I've picked. Tastes really good too. Um, the strawberries are also doing pretty good too. I think it's a little dry for them, but um, so because the ones that they've been producing are little tiny red, kind of dried out strawberries, so I think it's a little dry and hot for them, but they're still producing. I figured out that it actually isn't slugs that's killing my um, um, cabbage, it's actually um, little caterpillars, little green caterpillars. Some of them are yellow and black striped but so it's not it's not as bad right now because I've been squishing them so I don't know if I can find one right now on here but yeah I've been squishing them so that's why there's why well, it's not as bad right now but um, let's see what else I've got lots of tomatoes coming though so here's a big one this is the purple Cherokee tomato the heritage um, let's see I've got lots of peppers coming too so here's a nice big pepper and some banana peppers coming too. The peas are doing real nice too. We've got, we've picked a bunch of those. Um, I have been watering those because I, they, they wilt pretty easy. Um, the beans, there's flowers, but things keep munching them off. I think groundhogs, but not really sure. Um, the the lettuce down here, I think it's way too dry and hot for the lettuce. It's not doing very good. Especially this spinach over in this corner here. It gets dry really fast over there. Um, but the basil and um, parsley is doing really good. This parsley is going to flower. And actually the flowers aren't too bad. They kind of taste... They, they're not too bad. The, the stems are also kind of good too. They, they taste kind of like strong celery. Um, but they're real chewy, so you have to cut them up in little small pieces and they're fine. Um, but yeah, the onions are coming. They're not quite big enough yet, but... And then I've got my Jerusalem artichokes down here, which luckily they haven't been chewed off anymore, but... Um, what else? The broccoli, I think it's kind of out of its season. It's not, doesn't taste real good anymore, so... But that's fine. It, I think it'll still produce a little bit more. There's still little um, heads coming. Let's see what else. I really like the stevia. That tastes really good. It's really, really sweet. Um, it's good for putting in like tomato sauce and stuff like that. And also the basil is too. Really, I really love basil. It's probably like one of my favorite spices, but I've got lots of basil. Um, let's see. Yeah, lots of tomatoes coming and lots of onions too. Um, I have a question. Does, should I just leave the onions in the ground because once the leaves or once the leaves die off should I just leave them in the ground and will they come up next year and get bigger or what I don't I'm not sure because like this onion here these ones were store bought onions that I planted this year okay and the onion started sprouting and it was getting mushy so I just decided to plant it in the garden and it actually got smaller so look how small that is. It's gotten smaller than it was. So, and it's also flowered too. So I'm not sure if I should, um, if, if I leave these in the ground, if they're gonna do this next year. So I'm not sure about that, if somebody could help me with that. Um, the cucumbers are doing real good. Gotta find a little cucumber here. I think there's some up here. Ah, there's a cucumber right here. It's a nice sized one. And I also just bought this one plant right here. This is a lemon cucumber. So I wanna try that. So hopefully that'll do good. Just bought that the other day at, at a organic um, co-op place. Um, so I guess that's about it. I, everything's growing really nice. It's kinda dry here. We haven't gotten rain in probably about a week or two so we kind of need some rain but other than that it's doing really good 
and I put stakes up beside all the pepper plants too so that they don't fall over because last year I had had one do that and it broke off um, but yeah so I've also got the I, I got my garden in a lot earlier this year than last year um, I think I got it in two months earlier this year so by I think by this time I wouldn't have even had any tomatoes at all yet so like the tomato plants last year they probably would have been about this high so they've grown so they're really doing good this year because I started them so early um, so yeah that's about it thanks for watching stay tuned for more garden update videos and such